Okay, I just want to take another look at this um, dry brush painting concept. Um, so I'm not sure I was clear enough about it before. Let me just get at some of this, uh, well, it's a sort of brown colour, onto the paper here. What I'm doing will all make sense at some point. I'm not painting anything here, this is just a, a random thing I'm doing to demonstrate this. So that's our, our first wash. Um, I'll get a closer look up at that. So this is the wash I've just put on and as you can see you end up with these areas where the brush is leaving the paint behind. This will happen on a on a rough paper. This is a Bockingford's 425 gram rough paper so it has natural indentations and all that's happening is as the brush moves over it depending on how much paint you have on the brush, the speed you're moving the brush and the pressure you're applying to doing that it'll either pick up and leave the paint behind so that's the first wash and I'm going to show you something else one second so what I'm going to do now is just with a, a, a darker tone a sort of red tone here I'm going to lay another wash on top again not in any particular order so that's the second wash on and what we can see here is there's the uh, there's the pure colour now because I'm moving my brush from uh, uh, left to right, most of the, the, the dark paint is on the left hand side of the uh, of the image, let's call it. But let's go back and have a look at some of these bumps and marks. You see, if you look just there, that's obviously a deeper in indentation in the paper that's just uh, harder for the paint to adhere to. So by putting a second wash on it's actually naturally been left behind. Another one there. Okay, so I'll put another wash on now. Right, so I've got a. <coughs> excuse me, start again. So here I have a darker um, purple. We're just going to do exactly the same thing, just apply a, a random dry brush stroke to it. Right, I'm just going to do that just for uh, cosmetic purposes. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I've just taken this off the uh, off the board. Right, so I've just taken this off the off the board to have a look at it, and what we can see is here are the areas where the paint is just naturally been left behind by the brush. You can see quite clearly there are three different colours sandy brown, the red and the purple. There's the purple on its own. So that's dry brush, it's just using the speed, the pressure and the amount of paint on the brush to pick up the highlights and lowlights on the paper and it can be very effective technique